This is Matt, aka Mouse. Welcome to my little corner of the internet, and today I'm taking a look at the history of Admiral Akbar, starting off with this 1982 vintage figure. These are the figures that I grew up with as a kid. These came out during the original trilogy of Star Wars, and this is Admiral Akbar, and this is what he looks like, the vintage figure here. He comes with a little uh, baton or staff. Uh, we don't see this in the movie, of course, but not sure why he comes with that, but that's his accessory there. There's a look at his face. He has the yellow striping down the pants. Um, his shirt is a little bit of a off-white tan gray. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. And uh, the rest of his outfit white. So this is the very first figure of this character. And we're going to move on to the 90s version of this character. As you can see, he's a lot thicker in the body. Um, he still has the same outfit, um, but there is some little highlights on his red skin. There's little dots of brown. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Also, um, he has a badge on his chest right there. And the head sculpt is a little more detailed, of course, and larger than that original vintage 1982 one. If you can see that there, there's some brown uh, dots or highlights on his head there. And he has the yellow striping, same as the other one. Weird gun accessory that doesn't really fit in his hand. It just kind of overlaps on top of his um, claw hand here. And of course this is not in the movie as well, but that's the accessory he came with, the 90s version one. And last but not least, let's take a look at the new Force Awakens version of this character. Now this just came out recently. Uh, this is the Force Awakens version of Admiral Akbar. Here's a look at the packaging. And he comes with a gun and a build-a-weapon piece. Here's a look at the back. And here is a look at the Force Awakens Admiral Akbar. He has a different costume here, as you can see. He comes with a blaster rifle there, and a hand sculpted to grip that. Um, he's less of a red color and more of a light brownish color, with a little bit of a wash on it to pick up the shadows. It's a good sculpt. And of course, with all the old points of articulation, just the arms and the legs. Oops. I'm not sure if it's just mine, but the gun fits very loose in his hand, even though they sculpted his hand to hold it. Not sure if that's just my particular one. Let's put them all side by side and have a comparison. There's all three there. We have the one from 1982, the one from 1997, and the recent Force Awakens. The 1997 one and the Force Awakens one are almost the same size. And the vintage one, a little slimmer. Let's take a look at them all at the side. As you can see, that 1997 one has a huge eye, 
But I do like the sculpt on the new one, the sculpt of the face and the head. So there's a look at Admiral Akbar through the history, through the generations. And if you like this video, please check out my other toy reviews. Make sure to leave a comment. And here is the little build a weapon accessory, little backpack. I don't have the other figures to show the full thing, but in case you're interested in seeing what it looked like there it is there thanks for watching leave a comment I'll see you next time I just figured this out I had no idea he could do this it's a trap oh. <laughs>